To the angel of the church of Ephesus write these things saying, he that holds the seven stars in his right hand, who walks in the middle of the seven golden candlesticks. I know your works and your labor and your patience and how you cannot bear those who are evil and have tested those who say they are apostles and are not and have found them to be liars. John writes to the church at Thyatira, commending them on their virtues while also warning them of one whose teachings are leading members to immorality and adultery. And have endurance and have patience and for my name's sake have labored and have not fainted. Nevertheless, I have something against you because you have left your first love. Remember therefore from where you have fallen and repent and do the first works or else I will come to you quickly and remove your candlestick out of his place unless you repent. But this you have, you hate the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him that overcomes will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the middle of the paradise of God. And to the angel of the church in Smyrna write, these things saying, the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know your works and tribulation and poverty, but you are rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which you are about to suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tested, and you shall have tribulation for ten days. Be faithful even to death, and I will give you the crown of life. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He that overcomes shall not be hurt of by the second death. Jesus searches the mind and heart and deals with everyone according to their belief, carrying out good deeds. And to the angel of the church in Pergamos write, These things saying, He which has the sharp sword with two edges, I know your works and where you dwell, even where Satan's seat is. And you held fast my name and have not denied my faith, even in those days when Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you where Satan dwells. But I have a few things against you, because you have those there who embrace the teaching of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed to idols, and to promote immorality. So you also have them that hold the teaching of the Nicolaitans, which things I hate. Repent, or else. I will come to you quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him that overcomes will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knows but he who receives it. And to the angel of the church in Thyatira write, These things says the Son of God, who has his eyes like a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. I know your works and charity, and service, and faith, and your patience, and works, and the last to be more than the first. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against you, 
because you tolerate that wicked person calling themselves a prophet to teach and to seduce my servants to commit immorality and to eat things sacrificed to idols. And I gave time for repentance and repented they have not. Behold, I will cast sickness to the liar and those who commit adultery into great tribulation unless they repent and turn away from evil deeds. And the offspring will be struck down by death, and all the churches will know that I am he who searches the mind and hearts, and I will reward each of you according to your deeds. Now to the rest of you in Thyatira, to those who do not hold to teachings of immorality, and have not learned the deep things of Satan, to you I say, I will ask nothing more of you. But what you already have, hold fast until I come. And he who overcomes and keep my good deeds until the end, I will give power over the nations. And he will rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter broken to pieces, even as I received authority from my father. And I will give him the morning star. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. The reward for perseverance, holding fast to his good deeds, and overcoming pressures of immorality until Jesus' return will be permitted to rule the nations with him.